Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here from Lightroom Killer Tips and KelbyOne.com. We are looking at Lightroom on your mobile device. Okay, it's called Lightroom CC now, but that's what it is. It's Lightroom on your mobile device. And in particular today, we're looking at this thing up here in the right corner, which is the search function. Now it's powered by this uh, technology called Sensei, and it has uh, it is the power to search by what is in your photograph right rather than using a keyword or naming which can be really handy we're going to take a look at it right now uh, the little red dot that you see that's my finger moving across my iPhone there so we're going to go up and I'm going to tap on well this is my collections view right these are the collections that I have synced to Lightroom Mobile we're going to click on the search function and we're going to type in something that I probably have in here guitar let's search for the word guitar and then we'll just hit search and there, it found uh, 13 guitars. Now, let's take a, look, a quick look. You see there's three guitars that are tall there, and then there's four that are wide, and then some varying different guitars. And you can see a shot I took with my iPhone from a the Kiss Def Leppard concert. Awesome concert, by the way, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's clear that out. Here's why. There's 13 results. The problem is I actually have a lot more than that. Let's go down here and go to my collections, and I have a collection uh, of just this particular red guitar and you can see a bunch of guitars here that it did not find there are 12 guitars here alone but beside that you would probably think there would be a lot more guitars just from inside that uh, kiss and Def leopard concert and of which there are many you can see guitars like all over the place now granted these are iphone shots but you get the idea hey you know what you can't tell from this photo right here how loud it was <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, let's go over here. And, and this stuff's kind of a mess. I get it. And let's wait for uh, it. There you go. Pull it from the cloud. That's three guitars. That's pretty obvious. And there's a bunch of the ones. I, I get it that it's not going to get this. You don't even know what's going on there, but that's kind of how the concert was. Let's swipe. And uh, those are guitars. I pretty much can see that. Those are guitars. You know, I don't expect you to pick up every one, but it surely should have picked up this one. All right, let's 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 test something else. Let's try it again. Let's try something simpler. Let's go to car. Do I have car photos? Okay, so it says no. It says you don't have any car photos. That's because it's looking in the Kiss and Def Leppard collection. If you wanted to search everything, you have to go back to your main collection, your main collection view, then go in here and type car. Now it's going to search across all of your different collections. Hit the little search button in the bottom corner and you can see it found a whole bunch of cars. It even found a shot inside a, of um, a car and a shot of some city streets. So that's pretty good. But if I were to scroll down, you'll see it's got 75 results and it shows like a bunch of cars, right? But what happens when we scroll down? You see it found all kinds of other crazy stuff, like it found a couple, it found some jet fighters, it found the back of my stereo, it found my legs sitting in an airplane, it found a road, it found some football shots, it found the inside of a submarine, it found a spiral staircase. So I guess what I'm telling you here is, while the, the technology is promising, this has been my experience, like I get some shots I'm looking for, I don't get all the shots I'm looking for. Or in my case here, I get some shots I'm looking for and then a bunch of random crazy shots. So Sensei can, at this point, I would say can be helpful, but it's not it's not where we're, I'm hoping it will be soon. It's not quite there yet, but I did want to introduce you to it because like I said, it can be helpful. It did bring me 13 of my 50 guitar shots, but you know, I, I think all of us, when we think of this search and, and working the way we want it to, that if we have 50 guitar shots, it's, at least it's going to bring us 45. It's not going to bring us just a handful. But anyway, same thing with cars, that you're not going to wind up with shots of your legs in a plane and a guy holding a camera in the back of my stereo and a couple of football shots and a submarine and my keyboard and football and spiral staircase and, you know stuff like that so anyway just kind of wanted to introduce you to this kind of searching and let's hope that the next time i do a video my video is called how much improved the sensei searching has gotten in lightroom cc hey real quick just want to mention since you're into lightroom uh it's we're coming up on black friday and cyber monday and all that stuff and it is when we have our best deals of the year hands down on joining kelby one so if you want to join kelby one 
Go over to KelbyOne.com and get on the list now, and we will tell you what the deals are, when you can get them, and it's just, we're going to be blowing it out. It is the cyber, uh, the cyber week when we have all this is when we, we just, we, more people join Kelby One at this time than any other time of the year, so make sure that you're one of them. We would love to have you take advantage of all of our Lightroom training and all the awesome Lightroom classes we have for you. So go check it out right now at KelbyOne.com while you're thinking about it, while it's still on top of your mind. Find. Maybe you can use a Sensei search to find it. Now just go to just go to your web browser and type in kelpy1.com. We'll catch you guys next time. Take care.